morning. Morning. Welcome to day four of the Great British Leg Off. We are currently in Ebba Valley. Ebba Vale. Ebba Vale, sorry. Spell God, really I haven't woken up yet. Funnily, E B B W V A L E. Ebba Vale. And we're outside the Level Inn. We had a lovely, lovely night's kit Leveling, here. there we are. As you can see behind us. I don't know about lovely night's kit. Well, no. I certainly didn't sleep. Well, no, it was a terrible night's sleep actually. Just knackered. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm tired, but we've got an easy day today, haven't we? We're only cycling like 30 yeah. odd k, followed by a big <laughs> mountain hike. Easier day. It's still going to be hard because we're knackered. Yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, we uh, we wanted to wash our clothes, so we got managed to get them in uh, the washing machine last night, but they weren't drying very well. So Ash just fashioned a, uh, so, a lovely yeah, little drying rack out here. Going on here. <laughs> So we're gonna repack that up, pack our bags, get back on the bikes. Hopefully no soggy bum from the shorts so it's probably still gonna be wet. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a bit damp. But yeah, we're gonna get, get moving, hopefully get pedaling by nine. That's the plan. See you there. This is the lovely room we're staying in. As you see, the arc has been opened. <laughs> yes. That's a three hour job to put that all back together. <laughs> Chris is, fall off again. <laughs> Chris is ready to go. <laughs> Motivated. We are not leaving at nine. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely road. What a lovely road. <laughs> Welcome back to our show. Roads, <laughs> roads you don't want to take in Wales. Number one, the four seven. <laughs> We've just got to the youth hostel, got changed, and now we're starting the first of three hikes in Wales. Penny Fan, up Penna there. Penny Fan. Penny Fan, sorry, Penny Fan. We didn't really have a clue where we were going. We just found someone with a map who kindly gave it to us, so now we've got a general they understanding of where we're going. Map. They say you need an OS map, a compass, and all that jazz. We've got a bit of old paper. There so, you go, uh, that's all you need. Yeah. Yeah, clean jump, clean jump. <laughs> Give a quick panoramic. Well, it's just the same, mate. It's just mist. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, lovely views. Let's just give a little bit of a background of why we're here. Why are we? All right. Here? So this is. There's a summit. Peak yeah. Number three of. Uh, sorry, peak number one of three in Wales that we're doing. Penavan, Kadir Idris, and then Snowdon. This is the first of the three. First of the hikes, and hopefully the weather only improves. But we've got up here, we've got our uh, extensive kit. <laughs> and I think we're probably ready to go back down and start to relax. <laughs> it's freezing up here. And you decide. <laughs> yeah, it's mine! These are the boys that we were supposed to meet at the top. And here we are at the bottom. Oh, good morning from the world's smallest bedroom in the Brecon Beacons YHA so Youth Hostel Association. Lovely hostel. Yeah, yeah. You know, loads of space. Look at this. That term, not big enough to swing a cat. This is that the is literally that, the floor space we have. It was made for this room. That it was thing. incredibly hot in here last night as well. We've got this tiny little window up here. 
but barely let any air flow in. Didn't let in any air, but it did let in water. So that was good. And some moths. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been an entertaining start. Big breakfast. Another fry up. Another fry up. Another greasy spoon. <laughs> I got up out of bed, went downstairs, and literally got served the fry up immediately. Before, <laughs> before really being actually awake. But eat that. All right. Oh, God. It's part of the routine now. Get up, fry up. Get Shovel up. it down and get going. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not good. It's not good. But nearly packed and ready to make our way towards Brecon. But we wanted to give a special mention to um, a special lady that came over and visited us last night. Kinza and her two kids, Zara and Imogen. Well remembered. Well, oh yeah, got that down. Um, so, backstory of how we all know Kinza. Well... Kinza runs the charity, um, the Raising Hope Foundation, and 10 years ago, from this year, we all cycled together from the Arctic Circle in Nordcat to Dakla, and then went ahead over to Ghana, where the uh, money we raised on that bike ride went towards the orphanage that Kinza was uh, building out there for the Raising Hope Foundation. So it was really nice just to meet up and catch up, reminisce over the old days really. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. It was amazing just to yeah, remember what we all did together, where we went and it was incredible to think back to some of the stuff we did. But yeah, the reason why we're here ten years later on a sort of anniversary ride is because of that trip to Africa that we did with, with Kinza. And she only lived a couple like a what, well, just in near Bristol. So she came and drove over, met us here. We were supposed to meet up on the hike that we did yesterday, but we had no map, no compass, couldn't see anything, went the wrong way, <laughs> standard. And then we did meet back up again at the bottom, which was cool, and we got to meet her lovely lovely kids. And then we had dinner together here last night, which was awesome. And um, yeah, we're gonna have to make sure that we don't leave it 10 years until we all see each other again. <laughs> Just be another massive bike trip or something. Yeah, we'll do another trip somewhere, yeah. probably across some other country. Don't know which one. <laughs> we'll pick one. Pick one at random. Yeah, there you go. All right. So, uh, getting ready to go. Bags packed. Squeeze that in there. Lovely. Ta -da. Let's go.